welcome to my channel my name is Ashley Morgan welcome and today we are making a chipotle steak bowl one of my favorites we're going to begin with our beans I have my beans soaking overnight in water drain them off and I'm going to pour them into this pan as well as fill it up with water adding my herbs and spices we're going to begin cooking them you're going to want to skim off all that foam off the top layer you're going to cook it for about an hour to an hour and a half or until your beans are tender we are then going to create our marinade for our steak all the ingredients for this marinade will be left in the description bar take all the ingredients and blend it together then we're going to pour it over our steak i use sirloin steak because it is tender but it's also very much affordable i allow the steak to marinate overnight the same amount of time i allowed my beans to soak but all you need is 30 minutes now we're going to prepare our corn salsa and guacamole we're going to start with preparing our tomato by dicing it into small pieces and prepare our onions doing the same thing i'm going to be using less ingredients for the guacamole than the salsa because i prefer to have a lot more of a chunky salsa as opposed to a chunky guacamole but you can play around with this recipe and use the same ingredients and add less or more if you like or omit them all together after we've minced up our garlic we're going to add corn seasoning and cilantro and then lime juice into the corn salsa as for the guacamole i'm going to go ahead and open my avocado i don't squeeze it into this bowl and then mash it up add my mixture of ingredients that i chopped up earlier as well as some lime juice and our guacamole is ready to go i let this in the fridge for about 30 minutes if you're going to be storing this in the refrigerator overnight i would save that pit and then store it in the center of the guacamole so that it will keep fresher longer i use jasmine rice for almost anything because it's the only type of rice i know how to cook <laughs> so what you're gonna do is take your rice and wash it i like to wash my rice in the strainer as opposed to the actual pan you're basically going to be washing all the starch off so you want to make sure that the water is running clear you're going to put it back in the pan it's going to be one part rice two parts water and you're going to cook your rice as usual if you do not know how to make rice let me know and i'll make a video for that and then once your rice is done you're going to fluff it add your lime juice with lime zest as well as some fresh chopped cilantro mix that together then your cilantro lime rice is ready we're going to cook our steak and then we're almost finished so what i did was i seared it on one side and once i flipped it over over, I actually placed it in the oven to continue cooking until it came to the temperature that I wanted it. I want my steak to be medium well. After it was done, I placed it on a cutting board to rest for about five to 10 minutes. You want to let the juices redistribute throughout the steak so that it can still be nice and juicy. Once your steak is chopped the way you like it, you're ready to plate. Rice, beans, corn salsa, Monterey Jack cheese, steak, then guacamole. Yeah. Thank you all for watching. I really enjoy making these videos. If you have any ideas or recipes you would like for me to recreate for you, let me know down below. Thank you all for watching and be sure to follow me on Instagram at I am Ashley Morgan as well as subscribe to my channel. Bye.